Kalupa's just a huge challenge. There's been nowhere in the world that they've managed to successfully eradicate it. MPI, iwi and councils have all been working together really hard to come up with new ideas. Some of the innovations have been really impressive. We were really lucky that we had a small detection up at Lee Harbour and we were able to use chlorine under a tarpaulin and that actually was effective and seemed to control it. We've also trialled with the University of Auckland some use of the UVC lights. They had been using it in aquariums up in the lab and we were really keen to see how that would work in the sea so we helped them get out and do it around Rakino Island and so far that's looked to be extremely effective too. The result of exposing these plants to UV is that the tissue dies back and it dies back quite quickly. So we're seeing die back in about 72 hours from exposing the plant to UVC. There is hundreds of hectares of calipa out there and so it's tools that can be scaled. So our current light frame is about four and a half metres long and two metres wide and, and we've got a robotic system that we can drive that along the seafloor, like a, a submarine really that parks on the calipa and just lights it up for our treatment time and then we just move on and, and we do the next one. I believe we can actually clear out anchorages. You know, we can get large areas of sand and open areas quite, quite clear of the plant and really address its fragmentation and distribution methods and get on top of that. We've also tried divers scrubbing and suction dredging the areas that have had really dense calupa. We've also looked at trialling robotic methodology down under the waters to keep divers safe. While the suction dredging removes the bulk of the biomass, it's been really hard to make sure you've got all the last of the roots of these weeds. So what we're trying to do is get a picture of how far Kalupas are spread in the Gulf. We're developing some really good surveillance tools and techniques. We're using ROVs, our remote operated vehicles, and our TOVs, towed underwater cameras, which are helping us build up a picture. If we don't have a better picture of it, we don't know where to start with our efforts to control it, and so building up that picture is really important.